I was watching um, Igloo Blocks Part 1 and I realised I made this mistake on one of the templates. The template is D4 back and two sides. The template there. I'll show you my, the, 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 um, the error. This is the right one. It should be 106.5 and 115.5. Okay? That is the right one. This is the one that was done. Okay? It's just that this is just the wrong paperwork. You've just got the wrong paperwork. This has caused um, a lot of inconvenience. I can't apologise enough. Okay, moving on. Today we're going to do the D4 row, which is the four blocks at the top. Starting with D4, arch A. Okay, this is D4, arch A. Front and, front and sides. Front and two sides. Okay, get the measurements in. Basically, it's a D4. Exactly. The, only, the only difference is there's a D, there's a D4. The only difference is this detail here. Okay, this is the A one. So all you do is you got you got to draw out a D4, which is this one. Okay, go 82 millimeters, and draw a line from that 82 millimeters point straight in the corner, and that'll give you uh, that detail there. I've done the angle for you as well. Okay, the uh, this one, which is B, you just simply go the other way. Okay, so it's so eighty two across. Draw a line in the corner, and and um, that will draw that out for you. There you go. Okay, moving on. This one is D four. The back. It's the backs. D four A. Back and uh, sides. Okay, we'll look at it. It's basically um, a D4 back and sides. Which we can get. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, get the right one. Yeah? The one I Not the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> I, I am sorry about that. Okay, and, and look at this detail here. Make sure, make sure, the same measurements on the top. So we get a D4. Okay, we draw up. Let's have a look at the measurement. 82. Get D4. 82 up. 49 across. Draw line. And when that should come up with something like this, put the triangle in. You've got all the angles in there. Many mysteries there, and on this detail on a d4, it's 90. Yeah, go 88, then draw back to the point 49 point. That should give you that, okay. Um, this one, the d4 arch b, is just a, an exact mirror image, okay. Quickly going through 82, get across 49 across, that'll give you the line. Put the triangle in. Now, is that a 90? Do 88, because these are parallel lines. Do 88. Do it back. And that should complete that block. Them two blocks should be completed then. Okay, moving on. Right. right. So, let's get an update. That one's done. That one's done. That one now. And this is a D4 arch Y. Okay, front and sides. Okay, well, I'm going to draw this round like that. This is um, this detail here, the top, this top bit, is the same as a D4. So this this will be the, the front. If you look at it, it's actually the front flap on there, on the igloo. Okay, so we do like the, the D4. Draw, draw out a D4. Okay, and instead of going down 90mm, go down 44. And on the other side, go down 87. 
So this is a D, D4. Uh, okay, 44 mil. That's side 87. And draw the points in. Now, this 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 top bit is exactly the same as that. And this top bit here, to get the angles here, here and there, you can get them off um, the back and sides paperwork on a, a normal D4. So look at a D4, back and sides, and you can get that you can get that angle there. That's not the right one, is it? So it's got 106 there, look. 106 there. You've got the angles there. So you can get the angles from there. From that, a normal D4. The right one. <laughs> Back and sides. That'll give you that angle there. As the flaps as well. Because you come on here. You've got you've got the flaps. You can get that angle off uh, the D4 back and sides. So that'll give you that angle there. Okay, right, let's go through it. Where was it? We've got a 44 down. We've got 87. So what we want to do is do a compass and uh, set your compass there for, at that point. Do a, do a 44 radius. And when that point meet, meets 47 at right angle, put the dot in and do dot the dot. And then get, set your compass at 74 radius from that point. And when that is 76 on the right angle there, do another dot, 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 and I'll give you that. Okay, these are two parallel lines, and you just you just uh, get that dot in, move it up to a measurement there, which is 46. Let's have to do that one. Uh, yeah, this, this angle there, the angle is the same, this, I think I'll say this, but this angle here will be the same as the D for back and sides angle. Okay, right. Let's see the paper okay. This was um, a mirror image. So this A one's a mirror image. I'll go through it, I'll go through it anyway. Okay, this this will be the, the, the top bit to a D4. Okay, that be that flap there be a the a side bit to a D4 back and sides to get, to get these to get that one to get that top angle that bit. Okay, that's the the, the that angle there is the top of back and sides. You can see the same measurement, six point five to get this this angle and that angle. Okay, I think that's pretty clear on there. You know, it's not that this one you go with that 87 that way, that one would be 44. You do work out the compass points by measuring them points there. Yeah, it's the same with this side. Set the compass at 40, that point there, and then get the point there. Okay, all right, let's start on the back and sides now. Sorry, we start on the uh, it's actually underneath. D4 arch Y. Okay, what we got essentially here is two parallelograms. Okay, I put the angles in. That's 85. Okay, you got equal equal measurements there and there, there and there. That's a parallelogram. And this one. That's a parallelogram. Equal sides. 52, 52, 73, 73. And this one, you should just have to set the compasses. One, one radius at 20, do, do the thing there, radius at 49. And when, when you get the point, draw in the triangle. This is the D4Z, which is an exact mirror image D4Y. Okay. Okay, I think that and that completes um, D4, the D4 row. And my next video, we'll talk about the tunnel. Okay, bye for now.